Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook, but 10 seconds before we get started, I made this video to help you, so please help me if it helps you. It only takes a second or two. It's a great help if you subscribe, like, and or leave a comment down below. That's it. Let's get started. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to change your spark plugs and plug wires on your 91 through 96 Toyota Camry. And the tools I used for today, guys, was some kind of pliers, your 3 8 extension with a spark plug socket, your 3 8 ratchet, and a flathead screwdriver. So, we're going to start right here at the top of your engine, and you got these four plug wire looking things right there. They're kind of squarish. They got that squarish rubber boot looking thing. And I've already pulled mine out, but you'll just go ahead and pull them out like that. And if they're tough to get out, what you might have to do is take a pair of pliers, squeeze right there, and if you're replacing them anyways, it's not going to matter if you break them or not, but just go ahead and squeeze real tight, and you'll wiggle it around, and you can kind of pry up on it like that, and then just go ahead and pull it um, like that in. There's a little metal connector on the end of these guys, and I'm going to try and recreate the situation here. I think it might be easier on this one. Well, I've actually pulled it up through, but there's a metal connector at the end here, and it could be stuck on the spark plug in the thing. So if that happens, don't worry about pulling on this wire. Just go ahead and pull until you feel it detach. So once you get all the spark plug wires off, you'll come over here to the side, and we'll get the the wires off of the distributor. The next thing you gotta do guys is come from over here to where you're just pulling those plug wires off and then come over to here to your distributor and you have to disconnect these plugs right here. Now I can't get a great shot on it right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over here over to the floor where I have the new parts and I'm gonna show you where I have a clear shot on everything. I'm gonna show you how to take the plug wires off from the distributor cap. Okay guys, so here's the new wires and the new cap, and I'm going to show you here, since I couldn't get a good shot of it over there, is I'm going to plug it up right here, and as you heard, that clicked on. So what you're going to have to do when you go to take them off is there's a piece right here, and you're going to need to lift up on the piece and pull. And I'm trying to do it where you can see me do it here, but you can also kind of push, that helps, push, lift up, and pull pull off there. So that's how you remove the old ones and hopefully this kind of illustration gives you a better idea and there's nothing in the way so you can see what I was doing there. So you're going to need to do that to remove the plug wires from the cap. And then as far as taking the spark plugs out, all you got to do is take your extension and your spark plug socket, stick it down in there, lefty loosey, take it out, uh, put your new ones back in. There will be a link up right now. Um, an annotation with a link to take you to that video if you're not confident in doing that by yourself and I'll show you step by step to do that and for my iPad and Apple users there will be a link down in the video description to take you to that link if you want to see me physically put the socket and extension down in there and take the, plug, the spark plugs out and that's pretty much it for today guys I thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time hey guys so I came across one more thing before, before you go to put your spark plugs in, I was going to let you know about this because there's, there's no gap specification on the hood of the car or in the information database that I have. So I've come up with a, a custom gap here for you because I, I took the gap specification off my Honda Civic which was 1.1 millimeters which on your gapper on the back there there should be millimeters. So the spark plugs that came out of this Camry had 1.5 millimeters, which I think is uh, way, way too much. And the ones that came out of the box were at uh, one millimeter even. So just remember, when you go to put your new spark plugs back in, since there's no gap specification, I'm assuming that they think that it's okay to just put them in out of the box. But if, if you want a good specification, just I, I took the Honda Civic one specification for Gavin and that's 1.1 millimeter so when you go to put them back in 1.1 millimeter and you'll be good to go and also I got this anesthes here just take you some of this gray anesthes and dab it like so on the spark plug right there that'll prevent it from ripping out the threads of your cylinder head when you go to change your spark plugs next time well again guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time okay guys now I'm adding one more thing and I'm sorry I keep on forgetting to add things, but uh, at least I'm showing you what you need to know and what to do here. So, um, if you take all your plug wires off and you get to put new ones on, and you didn't watch which wires you were taking out, then you are going to be confused, or you may have trouble putting the wires back on. So what I'm going to show you here is how to put the wires back on if you mix it all up. Alright, the first thing you need to know is the cylinder order. We have 
cylinder one, two, three, and four. That's how it's numbered. Um, okay, next thing we got is you got your cap, which is your um, distributor, which is sitting down in there. And so I'm going to pull it out like a 3D image here. And now we're looking here. So if you can imagine, that's how it sits down in there. The plug portal thingies are sitting right there. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to face it to you this way. Now, cylinder one, which is over there, needs to be plugged in bottom left. So down here, it's going to be bottom left, which would be that one right there. Number two is going to be top left, that one right there. So it's going to be that one right there. Number three is going to be bottom right, which is down here. Number three goes right there. Then number four is going to be top right, which is right up here. There. So we got one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So that's how you plug your wires up the right way. And I'm not even going to say thanks for watching, blah, 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 because I've already said it like three times already. So, um, thanks. See you next time. Well guys, unfortunately that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. And fortunately, you can catch me again right here on Facebook tomorrow on my next video. Just don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave lots of comments down below. Well, thanks again guys for watching, and see you tomorrow right here on Facebook.